Hey everybody, PC Outcast here. Today we're taking a look at Change, a homeless survival experience. So they get, this is a roguelite and um, each you know, playthrough, whether you survive or die, will unlock more, um, more items, more locations within the game and uh, more, uh, a few different starts so you can try different things. I will, I've beaten it once, which is basically renting an apartment, get, saving up enough money to rent an apartment so you're no longer homeless. Uh, so I've done that once and then started it again, but I'll, I'll abandon my current run and just start a new one. So apparently I can unlock, if I progress far enough in my next run, I can unlock some soap and I don't know what that is, kind of maybe a... I'm thinking maybe like a pharmacy or something like that. Um, also, if you uh, get some addictions, survive many addiction maladies, you can unlock addict, uh, veteran. I believe that's if you get to know there is there is a guy, another homeless guy that's a veteran. So I think maybe if you interact with him, you can unlock that. And I don't know about the mental illness or the abandoned one. So, anyway, there's a uh, you know reality level one, level zero, level one. You can make it a little more difficult, and that's pretty much it. You can play a guy or a girl, and various other. I don't know what this is. Changes changes the look a little bit. Whatever. So let's get started. There's a lot of different. Um, uh, strategies I guess you could use to try and get the money that you need to get off the um, to get off the streets but may mainly the, the way I, I eventually beat it is I got a job and uh, kept staying at the same sh homeless shelter so that I got a residence so that I could get a bank account so that I could deposit money because if you just accumulate money in your pocket somebody's going to almost for sure mug you and you will end up with nothing again so if you don't save it up in the bank I don't see how you could get to the 200 that you need to get out so I used to walk by these people every day before work now I'm one of them how how will I survive out here survive the streets find food and shelter get a job rent a home change is predominantly a roguelike experience about escaping to a new life. Each pl playthrough will be uh, different and every failure leads to unlocking more things in your next run. While this game has the intention of portraying the reality of the homeless, various aspects of sleeping rough have been abstracted for the sake of gameplay. This person gives you an option. You can start out with some supplies, a survival kit, or just spare change. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a survival kit. Hope you can survive the winter. What did that give me? So we've got uh, pills to stop you from, be from becoming ill for one day. We've got a meal, giving us 85 food. Hot chocolate, warming, click to drink, plus one uh, happiness and fruit plus 10 food and plus one happiness so up up at the top here you got your time uh how much money you've got in british pounds uh your hunger this is your hunger your happiness will decrease if it gets low so you should always try to stock up on food this is your happiness it represents your motivation and general well-being it's all over if it runs out and this is your hygiene people will be less kind if it gets low and i believe if your hygiene is too low it also affects your happiness but not totally sure on that. There's a massive number of perks, as you can see, up to 134. And uh, you've got an education level. This is your study level. Better study means better jobs. Increase it in the library. Not studying for a while will cause brain drain. This is your crime level. Don't let police see you begging or breaking into things or stealing stuff. Yeah, you can do that too. This is your reputation with other homeless people. You can It can affect night events and other things. Okay. And we've got some options. We can change detail settings, speech bubble size, uh, lowest 
lost food value. What is that? Eat reminder mode. Click to choose your eat reminder setting. Lowest value, eat your lowest value food. Highest value, off, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And we also have, so we've got like food inventory, or I guess this is consumables, one-time use. And then this is other items like clothing and stuff like that. You got your job over here. Obviously don't have that. Currently I have no maladies yet. And you got a little bit of a... Uh, thoughts? I miss my family. All right, so one of the things you can do is pick up items like this. I'm not sure what that was. There's a bottle. Some other things, some cans, paper. Um, you don't want to do it in front of a cop, but you can beg. Oh, and the cop noticed me anyway. No begging. Get out of here. Yeah, bum. All right. And once you've collected a few things, you can go into the recycling depot and exchange uh, the recycling pieces for money. That's a pretty rough way of doing it. It's really slow. And there you go. Sometimes people give you some money. That's nice. You can also go into the shops, buy food, and this will these will be random. Uh, randomly gives you happiness, steady, or other effects. A magazine, new shoes, increased speed. Obviously, that costs money. You can also try to steal it. Uh, this is something that's actually new for this particular playthrough. The bar did not exist in my first playthrough, so you can go in here, and for $4.99 you can get both food and happiness, but you end up uh, drunk, and then you have to, as far as I can tell, you have to stay the night in the um, on the street. You can't stay in a shelter if you've been drinking. You can go into a bank eventually when you've uh, got been stayed at the same shelter for five days. You can then open a bank account and deposit your money in there so you don't uh, you don't lose it when um, when somebody tries to mug you. You can also just spend uh, some time on a bench. Basically, I'm just gonna lie here until the next day. Another day is over. The night has come with desperation as well as danger. You walk the streets aware of people staring as you go by. Some of them stare with intent. It's dark now, the time of wolves looking for prey. Is someone following you? You're not sure. Picking up the pace, you arrive at an alley that looks clean enough and best of all, unoccupied. Pulling cardboard and paper over yourself, you manage to retain some warmth, warmth for sleep. This is it. This is how it'll be every night from now on. How did you end up here? Uh, and my happiness went down. Sleeping rough, people left you some money while you slept. 251, nice. Unfortunately, your hygiene goes down a lot. Street savvy, so this is the uh, first perk uh, coming available, street. So we've got more choices for future perks or gain happiness when you sleep indoors, but you get an increased chance of being mugged. That sounds terrible. So we'll see what's in here. So you've got some different food items, a snack. Uh, so I'll buy that. We can buy deodorant to be uh, hygienic for two days. You can also buy a mobile phone, and then you can you can use that to call people that you get to know. Well, obviously you can use it to call people, but you eventually get to know people on the street. You also go into the library. If your hygiene is high enough, you can study for a couple hours. And you want to keep, you want to get your... Um, your study level up, it goes up to 100. And then that basically makes it a lot easier for you to get a job. You can also search through the trash, unfortunately. All we did is get dirty. And we got dirty again, and now we stink. That's great. You can stay at a shelter but it's not time. They, they don't open until 4.30. So they have a curfew. You have to get there between um, 4.30 and 8. Stranger on the street, so you're not the only one who's down on their luck. Here you go. Doing this will give me, uh, like, improve my relationship with other homeless people. Fast food server, flipping burgers and serving customers, 275 an hour, but you require you have to have study uh, level 50, so of course I have like no chance of success right now. 
Oh, I, she's going to be nasty because I don't have... I'm not very clean. Yeah, my... Your hygiene's low, people may be less kind. Well, yeah. You can go into the police station and check your, uh, your current crime level. I don't know if there's anything else. You, I've never actually seen if there's anything else you can do. Turn yourself in. Oh, if your crime level reaches 50, you can turn yourself in. And then you can actually spend the night in jail and get fed. Stay warm. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> My food level's getting low. Okay, let's buy from the street vendor. Uh, I think I'll eat that. I already have. So you don't, obviously you don't make a lot from picking up items like this. It's just a way of getting a little bit of change. You, there are perks that increase how much you get for the junk that you turn in, but I'm not convinced that you can actually make enough doing that. So you got to move around a lot. Okay, let's do. A, it's going to cost most of our money. Let's do a premium wash and stay clean for a while like that, and then immediately dive into the dumpster. Go. Gain a little happiness when you when recycling max scrap. Increased hygiene loss when searching trash, but significantly better item chances. And strong, strong stomach, reduced chance of illness from food found in trash. I think I'll take that. It's probably going to be eating out of the trash quite a bit. Time is running out. There I go. Now I can go wash myself off there. And I found something to eat. And I got a stomach ache from that. Unfortunate. Well, I hope I can find another... Another place to... Uh, well, I literally... I need to find a place in the next few minutes to stay. Don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, we are staying on the street tonight. There's the shelter that we could have stayed at. Oh no. Little change. No. And there we go. So tired. I hope it's not too cold tonight. Another day is over. As you settle, start to settle down for the night, you see a dog nearby. It notices your gaze and turns to stare back at you with wild eyes. It looks like a stray. Maybe you could try petting it? Yes. The dog doesn't move as you get closer. It just stares anxiously. Reaching out with your hand, you realize it's shaking as, a, as the dog takes a single step forwards. It reaches with its nose to inspect your hand for a moment, then instantly calms down and starts wagging its tail. You've made a friend. I'm pretty sure the dogs... Dog perk. What does that do for me? Uh, increases... Increased begging success and happiness decays slower. I wouldn't be surprised if that also helps you with... Uh, with not being... Mugged. So, cleaning dishes, uh, cafe assistant, three per hour, and that requires a level of 60. So let's go in here and study. Not really gaining a lot, I need to eat something. You can also get perks for that as well, to, to improve your the quality of your study. And here's another thing you can do. You can um, wait for day labor. Wait here for passing vehicles to offer a day of work. Day labor can be risky and others may compete for the same work. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm starving. That's not good. Eight, eight uh, pounds, but uh, chance of success, 67. Chance of risk, 46. Now you can ask for more. 
or offer to do it for less. I'll just accept. Let's see what happens. I believe it takes about three hours. And complete, but you didn't get paid. <sighs> Greatly increased study gains lose happiness when you study. First study each day is shorter and decreased hunger decay while studying. More cash earned from jobs. I think I'll take that. Let's look for food. There we go. Moderate, moderately increased walk speed. Greatly increased walk speed, but walking drains hunger faster. Significantly increased walk speed if your hunger is over 80. I think I'll take that one. Just a general improvement. You can also go into the park. Oh, dumpster diver. Better items found in the trash. Small chance of finding additional change when searching trash. Food found in trash restores more hunger. I'll go for better items. So we can go in here. I don't know what that is. Apparently I can go to the picnic. And there's some, there could be some leftover food here. Search. Nothing useful, but I got some scrap. Yeah, go over to the camp. There's some tents. This is your reputation with other homeless people it can affect night events. Okay. Bridge can talk to Bill. You got time to talk? Apparently not. I guess my reputation is not good enough. Uh, you see something on top of the nearby bin? It's some cigarettes. Nice. Let's. Let's eat that, I guess. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. Do I have enough money? I have enough money for that. And it's too late to, uh, to stay in a shelter again, so we're spending the night out here. And there we go. Another day done. The day is over. It's been hard today. It's tough to think that things could be like this for a really long time. No one's going to save you. No one's coming, going to care. With a lot on your mind and anxiety in your heart, it's hard to rest. Eventually, you cry yourself to sleep. Vermin hater pests in the night take less food. That could be good. Increased hunger recovery in shelters. No curfew for shelters if staying in the same shelter as the previous night or uh, or resident shelter. That's kind of nice. Um, this could be good too. Increased hunger recovery. I'm gonna take that. I haven't, I haven't taken that before. How you doing, buddy? And let's go into the library and study up. Uh, apple, no. No, no good. I'm gonna eat it. Boy, that didn't help very much. So eventually, when you have enough money, you can go into real estate office. You need a job and 200 pounds, and then you can rent an apartment. And then that is the end of the game. Or that's the end of that run, anyway. You can check here for jobs now. 40. Cleaner. Oops, that's not... I didn't actually mean to beg, but... There you go. Nope. Nothing good there. And it's a, it's a good idea to just wash every time you come across a... Uh, Either a washroom or a fountain. And also, it's a good idea to give money to the homeless. Because then you can get some cool events sometimes. Alright, I'm starving. Hmm. Ugh, some expensive chips. Eat that. Oh, nice. That's better. 
And Junker, chain, chance to find additional scrap when searching trash. Increased scrap value, but max scrap you can carry is reduced. I've tried that before. It's it's not, I don't think it's worth the, um, the reduced carry capacity. Food found in trash restores more hunger. I like that idea. And eventually you need to get your clothing washed, otherwise your um, hygiene level can't go above. Did I save? Oh, I saved that. Nice. Don't just eat it immediately. Okay, so we'll try and stay in a... Put scrap in your bag, nice. We'll try staying in, I can't, can't carry any more scrap, there you go. So we need to find a place to drop that. And I will try to stay in a, um, a shelter today, if I can find one. I don't think I'm gonna find one. Oh, you can also buy a bandana. Takes more warnings from the police before they move you on to the next area. Yep, not, probably not gonna find a shelter tonight. And there we go, we're moving on to the next area. So you can just, you can voluntarily move to the next area. Uh, obviously, once you sort of get set up at a particular shelter, you're not wanna, not going to want to do that. And some chips. Nice. There we go. We are full. Stuff to the gills with food from the garbage. Oh, washrooms are closed. That's good. And there we go. Another night. It's so another night in the streets. The dog seems to be on alert as you set up your sleeping area, anxiously looking around for something. He rustles his fur and he looks up at you for a moment before returning to his occupation. In the morning, there's blood in tiny patches all around you. The dog licks his chops satisfyingly as you look to see the remains of a rat in front of him. Gross. Ah, uh, well, at least he won't need to eat much today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, preview of the game. It's pretty... I, I covered most of the things. Uh, these uh, vending machines just sell soda that reduces your hunger but increases your happiness. And uh, as you can see, you can, you can go there. And once you get your, 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 your um, study skill up high enough, then you can apply for a job. And uh, there's a chance. And the higher your your hygiene and happiness and study, the more likely you'll get hired. And then that's basically, you're on the road to ending your run successfully. Otherwise, you end up unhappy and miserable. Eventually, if your happiness drops low enough, the, uh, the color disappears, the, like the, the, the game color becomes less and less saturated. And, you know, it becomes rather bleak. And then you die, I guess. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to check the game out on Steam. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.